today is Wednesday. I hope every Wednesday is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys, and happy new year. I pray for everyone a really happy, healthy, and prosperous 2024. Now, full disclosure, for you guys, it's actually January 1st. For me, it is December 27th, <laughs> but there's going to be so much going on in this video. I needed to go ahead and start filming a little bit early, but nonetheless, hope your new year has started off um, just really amazingly and healthy. Uh, drop down, leave a comment, let me know what did you guys do last night, A, and two, did anyone make the traditional uh, black eyed peas and all of that? Right now, as I'm sitting here real time, I actually do have some black eyed peas in the pantry. So I don't know if I made them yet. I've never made black eyed peas before. We've never had black eyed peas on New Year's. So try to switch it up this year or thinking I'm going to switch it up this year. So I'll have to let you know maybe as I edit the video or after the video is uploaded, whether or not I actually made the black eyed peas. And so speaking of pantry and just things we're going to be doing in today's video, um, the pantry is getting a new light fixture right now as we speak. We actually have a TE certified um, electrician, an electrician here hanging a light fixture for us. Eric is going to put in a couple of new cabinets, but before, I share with you guys what's going on over there. Let's take a quick look at the before of the pantry. So this is the before of the pantry. I know it is a complete and total unorganized mess, but that's what we're here for, right? We are going to get this together. We have so many things up there, not in containers. I can do better. We can absolutely do better over here than what we are working with right now. But on the positive, I love the size of this pantry. I have to say, this was absolutely one of the selling points. Uh, when we purchased this home, the pantry, it's not just your little standard closet pantry. As you guys can see, we have the double doors. We even have a window here in the pantry. So love that. What I am not loving right now is the light fixture. Yes, it is super dated. We don't do the bling bling anymore, right? So that will be coming out during this video. Over here, we have this really good size wall of space that is not being utilized. So Eric is going to hang some cabinets over here. The artwork here in the back, we're going to take that down pretty over that right now. And over here, all of my party wear servers and things like that. Some of that will be moved and relocated to the basement. And some of that I will probably get rid of. And then the other items I will need to kind of organize a little bit better. That's the before of the pantry. What else are we going to do today? Um, we're going to head to world market home goods to look for containers and baskets also in this video we are going to be taking down all of the christmas decor this is the christmas tree here in my office but we have the main christmas tree that i need to take all the ornaments off of uh, we need to do the stairs and just some other little Christmas decor that was here around the house. You guys know if you saw the early videos where I was decorating for Christmas, I didn't put up a whole lot of Christmas decor, so it shouldn't take me too long. And what else are we doing in today's video? Oh, also I will share with you a few of the items that Santa brought me for Christmas. And near the end of the video, I want to share with you all, um, what is it? What am I calling that segment? My copycat segment. You guys will recall earlier, well maybe part way, maybe near the end of the year, I was doing like these Pinterest, Pinterest inspired looks where I would share um, a look that one of the fabulous ladies on Pinterest wore and then I would kind of put my own spin on it without, you know, really buying anything. So that is how we will close out today's video. But yeah, just wanted to pop in here really quickly, open up the vlog again. Happy New Year to everyone. 
Just FYI, I am still burning my sand and fog winter white candle. I will probably continue to burn this one until it's all gone because the scent throw on it is absolutely amazing. And I just love the colors on it. Even though it has like reindeer and Christmas trees, I feel that it absolutely works here in my office because of the colors. So yeah, I will continue to burn that. All right, and so for anyone who missed it, this is the Christmas tree here in my office before I take it down. If I'm honest, I think I actually liked the Christmas tree here in my office better than the main Christmas tree. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the Christmas tree in the family room, but we could not for the life of us figure out how to put the setting on the Christmas tree just clear lights. So it continued to blink like some variation of colors, color lights and um, the clear lights. That's not really what I wanted, but you know, what can you do? Um, so I have out the decor that was originally here. So once I take that down, this will move back over there. And I will need to, I'll probably go to Trader Joe's and get some eucalyptus to put in there. The plants that were in there before were actually faux. And um, I think I wanna get some eucalyptus. And if you didn't see the um, Christmas decor before I take it down over here on the staircase, that, is how that is looking. So that's getting ready to come down. And then if we come over here, I've actually already started taking some of the decor out of here, um, but that, that's the fireplace, mantle, then we had that, that little Christmas tree. And Eric has actually started taking some of the ornaments off of the tree. I will finish that up. And this is the candle that's burning over here in the family room. This is the collection by Chesapeake Bay and the fragrance is leather oak. I really enjoy it. It's not as strong as the Christmas scented candle that I have over in my office, but it's okay. I like the fact that the vessel is just really pretty black. It kind of works with the decor that we have over here in the family room. Um, but as you can see, I've really kind of only started burning this one. I've only been burning this one for about a week. So I will keep you posted. All right, and so over here in the mud room, this is the light fixture that's going to be put up today. This is Allen and Roth, and you can pick this up from, where can you get this? Um, Lowe's, yeah, you can pick that up from Lowe's. Um, it's like a, what is it? Brush nickel finish and it has um, a three light chandelier with the little clear glass globes. So love that. And then Eric has this little setup down here for the cabinets. These are the cabinets that he will be hanging. So I have noticed it with that particular brand of box. Really? Like it like shattered. Yeah, so that particular brand, mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason, it just gets brittle over time. Right, right. It's hot up here. Yeah, it's yeah. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that's David. He's not gonna be on camera, but I will leave the information below for the company. We have used them so many times. If you are here in Atlanta, um, do yourself a favor and check them out. I'm not sure if they, David, are you guys located anywhere else? We you have know? a location in Kennesaw. Okay. And, um, we have a location in Lawrenceville. All right, so Kennesaw, Lawrenceville, here inside the perimeter. Um, if you need an electrician, again, I will have all of ITC's information below in the description box. <laughs> Two steps backwards, yeah And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out what's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me?
If winter blows here, baby, I fear we gon' disappear Do you even want me? Do you even worry that I'm gonna love somebody else? Do you think about me when you're feeling lonely by yourself? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? at the Christmas tree, all de-ornamented. Eric, is that a word? It is nope. now. It is not. All de-ornamented. No ornaments on the tree, but I wanna show y'all what Eric has decided to put the Christmas tree in, okay? You know, most people put their Christmas trees in a container or oh. a Christmas bag. Oh. This over here, guys, is what we, Eric, do you think these, this is gonna fit? So, so, <laughs> method to my madness. this is what will house our Christmas tree. So 42 house, gallon contractor cleanup bag. So, the Christmas tree bag is fine, but you get really gotta compress your tree. That tree breaks off into four pieces, so mm -hmm. each piece will get its own bag. So, I'd have to sit there and press and press. You don't think the branches are going to poke through, though? I don't, I'll take it back if it doesn't work. Um, okay. But this, that's why I got the contractor. You know, okay. I mean, it, here's the thing: it's not like it's got to be airtight. It's, okay. it's going in our basement, so yeah. You know, it's just to keep dust off of it more than anything. Well, you guys, drop down, leave a comment, let us know if you've ever put your Christmas tree. Are these considered trash bags? Well, it says cleanup bags. But so. remember, we had a tree. We had a bag for our old tree, but mm -hmm. see, our old tree was smaller too. This is true. This, like, is this true. tree is huge, so I don't even feel like trying to press it down in the one bag. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't work, I'll let you guys know. All right, we'll keep y'all posted. So guys, the light fixture is all up and hung, and I absolutely love it. So this is it with the light off. Let me reach over, and I'll take a step back. This is how it looks with the light on. So love it. So the last light we had in here, you, just, you know, you, you never know how much light a light is or isn't putting out until you switch it out to something else. And I feel like this one right here is like night and day. Um, it is so much brighter in here. So very thankful, very happy to have this up. Um, Eric will be putting up the cabinets a little bit later on. And then I, either I'll take everything out of here before he puts the cabinets up or he'll put the cabinets up and then I'll take everything out. I think, I don't know. Um, but I will come back and share that with you guys. I am, it's the next day. <laughs> and I am back from Home Goods. I know I mentioned yesterday that I was gonna go to Home Goods and or World Market. I found actually everything I wanted at Home Goods. So Home Goods for the win. So I'm gonna share with you guys the things I picked up from there. And then I had an order of things come in from, some orders come in from Amazon that I'm gonna use in here also. But like I said, I'm gonna take all this stuff out. Just everything is gonna go out. Some of it may go back in, in the same spot, but I think I just want to kind of start with a clean slate. Um, also, just real random, these are my black eyed peas, and you guys will have to drop down, leave a comment, let me know how you actually prepare your black eyed peas. I've never done them before. I've never, I've never made black eyed peas, um, and I see, oh, I see on here that they need to soak overnight. Rinse, put in a large pot, sort them out. So I guess they have some stuff in here that I need to take out. Um, what I did pick up was this. Uh, from Andouille Sausage. Just watching videos on making black eyed peas. I saw where some people put sausage in theirs. I saw where some people put smoked meat in their black eyed peas. So you guys drop down, leave a comment, let me know how you actually prepare your black eyed peas and how far in advance do you soak them? And I guess this bag is enough because I'm thinking we would just have some rice, some rice with it. So yeah, there's that. What I want to do now, because you and I didn't kind of celebrate together to bring in the new year, what I wanna do right now is create a little mocktail, a little beverage to kind of toast with you guys the new year. 
and I said mocktail, you heard me right. If you have been here on the channel for any amount of time, you guys know I'm not a real big drinker. I want to say the, the whole of 2023, not one drink, not one drink. Eric is the same way. Um, a couple of two little known facts about Eric and I, uh, we like to eat. And for me, I love to eat real carb heavy foods. I like bread, I like cake, I like cookies, I like pies. Ugh. That's what I love. And so, if I have to chew, I can't eat everything. I don't know how y'all's metabolism is set up. Mine won't allow me to eat everything without, you know, gaining a lot of weight. So, I choose to chew my carbs and calories. I don't, I know a lot of people take shots. I don't like the, the alcohol where it burns going down. So the obvious choice would be to do like, you know, your sweeter cocktails, but then that's where the carbs come into play. Um, but I'm just, I, if I gotta choose a carb, I'm gonna choose the carb that you chew. So I'm gonna make a mocktail and I'm calling it uh, it's like a, mish, a mixture of things. I just kind of pulled what I had here in the kitchen and in the refrigerator today. Um, but I have some cranberry juice, gotta be ocean spray. I have some raspberries. They're actually frozen raspberries. So that might be kind of nice. I have a few sprigs of mint, some lime. You guys know I love some sparkling water and I have some ginger ale. So we are gonna come up with a little cocktail. You guys, Maybe when it's finished, give me a name for it. You know, a little signature mocktail drink over here. But before we do that, um, an, uh, another guilty pleasure, right? You know, I said I like to chew my carbs. If you have not tried, and I know we're at the end of the season now, maybe you can still find these in the store. If you have not tried the Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark, you gotta get the dark chocolate now. Get the dark chocolate. That kind of helps with the calories or whatever. But, um, or the carbs. These are so good. These are so good. I bought a whole bag of these and no one in this house enjoys these like me. The other guys in the house feel that it is just a crime and a shame to eat candy, in their opinion, that tastes like toothpaste. I don't get that. I don't get the toothpaste and I don't know where they are coming up with this. Mm -hmm. It is so good. I know a lot of people aren't fans of dark chocolate, but because you have this little thin layer of white chocolate here, it really balances out the otherwise bitter notes, if you will, of the dark chocolate. And then, to add a little bit of interest, you have the little crumbles. Do you guys see the little sprinkles or little crumbs of peppermint in there? Look at that, that is so good. That is so good. All right, so we have our little bar set up, if you will. And we have all of our little players, all of our little ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I want to take start out by taking a little mint and placing it here in our shaker. We have some fresh mint here. Tear off a few leaves. Mint is so fragrant. I absolutely love mint. I'm thinking about maybe growing a few uh, containers of it outside on the, uh, the patio. All right, so I have my mint in there. I'm going to take my little muddler and just bruise it a little bit. You don't wanna overdo it with the bruising of the mint. You don't wanna tear it up, beat it up too much. Just a couple of twists or two. And then that is it. All right, then I think we will come over here and get a few ice cubes. All right, let's see. Now, 
Let's do a little lemon, a little lime juice. Did I mention I had lime? So I have one lime here. Go ahead and cut this in half. So we're going to do the juice of one lime. really measuring anything out so I have a lime bubbly just a couple of splashes one two because we just have a small glass here just kind of small glass then we have some ginger ale a couple of splashes and then we have the star of the show cranberry juice again just a couple of splashes one two We're just gonna shake. I love that color. Oh, that's so pretty. I have raspberries, but of course, if you have cranberries, um, that would be great in there. Look at that, let's see. We can add a little wedge of lime. Super cute. And just for garnish, a little extra zing, let's add just a little sprig of mint. Aw. Isn't that so festive? <laughs> that is the cutest little mocktail. So let's give it a try. Oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. Mm, I love that. You don't miss the alcohol in this at all. The lime, the lime is key. It gives it, you know, that tangy citrusy zip zing. I love that. Um, you do need the ginger ale. You guys know ginger ale isn't overly sweet. But I think the ginger ale with the cranberry juice really, you know, it really does a little something, something to bring a little sweetness to it. Um, what else? I love the, the raspberries are just here for decor, right? They're just here for decor. And then the mint makes it really kind of sprightly. So I am loving this. Yesterday, I made a huge pot of turkey chili and a little cornbread. Again, me and the carbs. I think I'm going to heat a little of that up and have this on the side. All right, let's take a look at what I got for Christmas. And if you guys don't mind, drop down. Let all of us know what that favorite gift you received for Christmas was. It could be um, if you have kids who are college age, they came home for the holidays. That's a big thing over here. Uh, maybe you have a relative you haven't seen in a while. They were in town and you were able to see them. It, those of you who are just like ballers, <laughs> you got a new car, just whatever it was that you would like to share, please drop down, leave a comment, let us know what that gift was. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. I don't have a favorite gift. I enjoyed all of mine. Um, well, I guess Chase being home for Christmas. All right, we'll say that. All right, so first off is going to be the gift that I know a lot of us receive during the holidays um, or gifts. It's going to be gift cards and you can't have a holiday, a birthday, whatever, 
the celebration without a Sephora gift card. So I will be using this as I sit here in my closet looking at my makeup and my makeup brushes. I could use a re-up on a few. So Sephora gift card, that will be put to good use. Um, st sticking with beauty, I also received not one, but two Ulta gift cards. So love, love, love that. Uh, sticking with gift cards, I received a Target gift card. Looking forward to, to, to using this. And I also received another Target gift card. So looking forward to absolutely um, here really, really, really soon using my gift cards that I received. If you're anything like me, gift cards are just like free money and I cannot wait to start using these. So before the year is out, no, let me not even lie, before the month is out, these will get used. All right, next up, I received these orange and green Nike socks. <laughs> love these, love these, love these so much. Not just because they're socks, all right? They're great socks. Um, but you guys know, or if you don't know, Eric and I graduated from FAMU. That is Florida A&M University down in Tallahassee, Florida. Shout out to everyone who checked out that the last video actually where I shared with you kind of like the weekend where I hung out with my good girlfriends. So many of them were in town uh, for the, I think it was the Celebration Bowl. It was FAMU and Howard University. What a great weekend that was. Had just an amazing time. Several of you found out during that video that I also was a member of the 100. I was in the band. That's what we call um, the band at FAMU. It's called the 100. Oh my gosh. If you did not <laughs> check out that video, do yourself a favor. After you watch this video, go back and watch that video. The band just eats. The 100 just eats. And I can't tell you just how happy it just makes me to see the band and just know that I was a part of that. Uh, when I see them take the field and just do all the things, I'm like, man, I was doing that? Mm -hmm. I was that girl. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. It's the video before this one. I think the title of it is The Last Vlog of 2023, something like that. It was a really good time. Got these socks, we'll wear them well. All right, I also received some earrings. So I have these little hoops right here. Some really, really tiny little hoops. Love these, you guys see that? I hope that you can kind of, yeah, I think now, maybe. <laughs> maybe you can see them. All right, so I got them in gold or I received them in gold. And then I also have them here in silver. Just really, really cute. Um, and then I have these gold hoops. So yeah, love these. Cannot wait to wear them. All right, so up next, I received a pair of Adidas sneakers. You guys know I am a bit of a tomboy at heart. So when I saw these, I was just over the moon. Just really, really happy and cannot wait to wear these. Now, right now, they appear to be coming off like white. That's better, but they still appear to be coming off kind of white. These are actually like a really nice cream or off white. They're not white at all. So next up, I received for Christmas this Adidas, let me slide back, this Adidas jogger set. So a set, so of course it came with the top. Um, I love this because the sweatshirt is cropped. It has this wide band down here. And guys, I actually already have this in green and I have been wearing it to death. So I'm glad someone took notice and said, you know what, let's me get this girl another one. So I am going to enjoy this one here in gray. So yeah, so it's cropped, but it's not like where your stomach is going to be hanging out cropped. It has a wide band. So again, love that. And it comes with, or I received the bottoms. Um, I do believe these are sold separately because 
I purchased a green one for myself and you do have to buy the pieces separately. So I can appreciate um, the thought in this gift. The bottoms, they are the jogging pants that don't have the band at the ankle. It's elastic and I love that. I think being able to kind of hike up my pants and maybe put on a pair of my new socks is gonna look great. You have the Adidas logo here on the front. And then of course there are some pockets, but drop down, leave a comment, let me know. When you go to the movie theater, do you like to dress comfy cozy? Or do you kind of like dress up? I know right now everyone is going out to see the color purple. Drop down, raise your hands, or just leave a comment. Let me know if you have checked out the color purple. I have not, not yet. I'm kind of hemming and hawing as to whether or not I am actually gonna go see it. You know, I've heard it's like really, really heavy musical, nothing against musicals, but you guys let me know if you've seen it and if you have, how did you enjoy it? But said all that to say, I love wearing pieces, items like this to the movie theaters. Uh, I, I don't do shorts in the movie theater. I don't do dresses. Mm -mm. Y'all know I'm, you know, a recovering germaphobe. So I like to be really covered up and sweats are just perfect for that. So, um, and also, you know, got my new Adidas. This would be a cute little look to go to the movie theater, right? Next gift is from Gucci. Here we go, opening up. This is not an unboxing because I have obviously <laughs> unboxed it already. Um, but it's a Gucci bucket hat. I love hats just like I love sneakers. So to receive this was just really, really just so sweet, such a blessing to have this i'm just really really thrilled just really really happy with it it's still stuffed obviously i have not worn it yet but this is how it looks on the inside you have your gucci tag there you have the tag that talks about materials and how to wash it and again, I haven't worn it, so I haven't even cut the tag off, but I love it. It's this really soft canvas and it's trimmed out in this really rich brown leather, super soft. This is going to be a great hat to wear all year round. Looking forward to wearing it here uh, as we continue on with the winter, but then also this spring and summer. Just really, really cute. I love it. I absolutely love it yeah <laughs> so yeah looking forward to getting a lot of wear out of this bucket hat love it love it love it and for now i am just going to place it back in the box i think um the next level of fun or excitement i am going to have is just kind of finding a place for it here in my closet um but just for right now we'll place it back in the box all right, all right, all right. We have another Gucci box. I'm sure that you guys can kind of tell, judging by the size of this box, what the items are in said box. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Some Gucci slides. Some Gucci slides. So, or mules, I guess I'm gonna call these. I think these are called mules. I can't remember the name. Can't remember, anyway, you guys see it. You guys see it. So love these. I love the fact that they are in this coated canvas. So these can absolutely be worn, let's say, um, somewhere tropical, around the pool. And I think they're stylish enough to kind of wear out and about. This is how they look on the bottom. So love that. They remind me of Birkenstocks, but obviously an elevated Birkenstock or Ugg, super soft insole. Love the um, gold, like an antique gold um, horse bit 
hardware here on the front of the shoe again coated canvas so you can absolutely get these wet just for reference i wear um just in u.s sizes i guess i want to say a size 11 and i have these here and in a european 41 so love these these are so stinking cute i cannot wait to i have so many gucci bags that have this particular um logo in this particular style um this is like the kind of like old school signature gucci print no webbing on it so really love that but guys these are so soft these are so soft i was just so thrilled to open these up on christmas absolutely love these love the detail like i said here on the bottom a lot of grip so again you know if you're walking around the pool or whatever you're not gonna you know break your neck slip and fall but love 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 these and just like with the bucket hat i'm going to have to you know carve out a little space here in my closet to place these but for now i will be placing them back in the box and i'm just gonna have a good time kind of like placing everything if you were like me when you were growing up when you got all your dolls and doll houses and, and just doll accoutrement you just couldn't wait to get into your room and kind of like place everything in its permanent home so that's gonna be me all right and then guys we have one final one final gucci box all right again this is not a true unboxing because i have of course already opened everything up all right let's see what we got i love this paper this um decorative paper here on the inside of the box this has horse bits all over it i've never um seen that before so that was kind of neat and so as you can see i have a handbag if you know me then you know i love a good gucci handbag what makes a new handbag from gucci even better is if it is a crossbody bag so this is a crossbody it's actually a messenger it's actually a messenger bag and i love it i'll have some pictures here on the screen it'll have the name of the bag and just how it looks on but i love that it has the signature gucci red and green webbing as a strap you have this kind of um leather um piece right here that helps to make it a little bit more comfortable wear when wearing it on your shoulder i'll never have anything in here that's like super super heavy so i don't have to worry about that um let's see there's no pocket here on the back this kind of reminds me of the pochette matisse a little bit where is it at it's back there somewhere it's just in size but it's just perfect i absolutely love it um i can see this being worn with my new mules just a really great look um so here on the front it's almost like like a backpack in that it has these two closures here on the front and then you open it to find a little zipper here love that of course it's still stuffed and then here is another well the main compartment here right and i want to take the stuffing out because i'm not sure of where i'm going to place it but let's see there's a zipper compartment on the inside there um yeah mm, it smells so good too <laughs> I love purses. I love purses. I know, you know, as women, we all, we have our vices, I guess. You know, for some, it's shoes. For some, it's, I don't know, makeup, perfume. For me, it's absolutely, it's handbags. It's purses. Specifically, Louis Vuitton and Gucci. Um, so, I'm just really happy to have this. And to close it, you know, you just take it and snap that back in there really easy almost like a backpack and oh it's just so cute it's just a perfect size it's just so cute you can adjust it here you guys can see it in my face i'm just really thrilled just really happy with this bag but 
I'll stop gushing. Um, but yeah, I think that that's everything. That's everything, guys, that I received for Christmas. I'm just really blessed, just really thankful. Um, like I said, you guys drop down, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite gift for Christmas was. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into I Stole Her Look. Unfortunately, Eric had to put out a few fires at work today, so he was unable to get to the cabinets, but no worries. This coming Sunday, we will do the cabinets. We will continue with the pantry stuff so no worries just stick around for that video in the meantime let's like i said go ahead and jump into i stole her look if you are new around these parts i stole her look is where i tip over the, to pinterest and you know find a look that i like and try to duplicate it to the best of my ability today's look is this travel look right here absolutely love it super comfortable but stylish at the same time we got to have a good pair of dark sunglasses. They are a must. Loving the wool coat, loving the denim. You guys know I love a good pair of sneakers. Her top seems to be like a knit sweater, very lightweight. Loving the Goyard, her luggage. She has the, bat, uh, the black crossbody bag there, you guys know. I love a good crossbody bag. And so with this look, she is absolutely ready for travel, super, super comfortable, but she looks amazing at the same time. So here is my top. We'll start with the top first. This is one of these Amazon essential tops. It's like a sweater in feel, but it's thin. So it's not going to be super bulky. Loving the color. I think it's almost spot on with her color, almost like an oatmeal, like a mixture of an oatmeal and a gray. Uh, and so that's my top. Again, everything will be listed as per the usual down in the description box for my denim. Very similar to her denim in terms of wash. However, a slight variation in the knee. There's a little bit of distressing in the knee. Keep in mind to you guys with these I stole her look. We're trying to get really close. Doesn't have to match exactly, but we're trying to get as close as possible. Like I said, without going out and buying anything. For the sneakers, she's actually wearing the Sambas. For the longest, I thought these were her Sambas that I have. These are the Adidas Court 3.0s, I think is the name, but they are very, very, very similar to the Sambas. So the sneakers, the, the, the bottoms, the top, I think we are pretty close to what she has going on. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. For my coat, guys, I went with this teddy coat. This teddy coat is ancient and it will not make it through January 2024. I will be donating this coat, but I want to get one more good look out of it. Teddy coats have been around for a fortnight and um, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see anybody wearing a teddy coat in 2023, so I'm going to go ahead and donate this. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I want to get one last use out of it, but I have the exact coat that she's wearing. I have that exact coat, but we're going to go with the teddy coat for today's look. And the teddy coat, when it was, you know, in its heyday, it was a whole vibe, super comfortable, really, just really big and just cozy. You know, earlier I mentioned, you know, being cozy, going to the movie theater. This is absolutely a movie theater coat with some sweats on but yeah let me know what you think not a real big fan of the teddy coat at, uh, these days but here we are with the full complete look all right I have my sunglasses on those sunglasses are gosh they're like ancient also I think I purchased those many many years ago from like TJ Maxx or something like that can't get rid of them though I really think that's a classic style for the black handbag, you guys see she has her black crossbody. I am actually wearing my YSL puffer. Yep, loving that bag. And I do not have a Goyard. You guys will have to drop down let me know your thoughts on Goyard. That's one of those quiet luxury uh, brands. I have chosen to pull out my Louis Vuitton Never Full. You will see on the inside, I guess you can see it. My bag is stuffed, just pulled this off the shelf. And there's a pillow that I made using the um, dust bag that comes with your luxury bags. You can see it says Louis Vuitton on there. I just stuffed it and 
you know, kind of stitched it up really, really quickly. So that's a cute little idea, neat idea when you are stuffing your handbags and placing them on the shelf or on display in your closets. I love that. It really helps them to keep their shape. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for stopping in. I hope to see you guys this coming Sunday as we continue with the pantry. Happy, happy new year. Happy new year, guys. Wishing you guys all the best in 2024. And I'll see y'all in the next video.